This is it. Wow, look at this place. Still can't believe the deal we got. Where's my room? Right up there, buddy. We'll be back in a little bit. Okay. Writer's block. I can't believe I just wrote that. Writer's block. There, again. Those two words are apparently the only damn thing I can write. Do you think coming here will help? It has to. It has to. Tommy rode into town with me today. He saw some kids his age playing on the swings at the park, and I could tell he wanted to go play with them. It got me thinking. Did we swing the pen? Dan, we're back. Hey, Mommy. Hey. Vroom, vroom. Barb, how are things? Is school still taking up all of your time, or is anything new going on? We've been up here for a week or so, and I can already... Can't beat me. Mommy, check this. Vroom, vroom.
Are there any other kids? We'll have to find out. I think we've done a good job of putting on happy faces for Tommy. If he knows there's something wrong, he's not showing it. We told him this is just a fun thing. I promise. Me too. Me too. It's such a crazy thought, the three of us all alone in this house all summer. I never thought we could afford a place like this, but the price surprised us both when we saw it.
Blast off! Having fun? Can Davy sleep over? Let me call his mom. I'm checking to see if this is a phone. I thought Tommy was sleeping with us. I knew we should have eaten something with the wine last night. My head is killing me. It would have been worse if Dan hadn't come down to help me finish it, though. I didn't expect to see him. Hey, Mommy. What about Tommy? You can sleep with us. Writer's block turned into writer's fog or something like that. I never found my notebook. I guess it's just gone. Did we lose it in the movie? Good news. Mom called today with a change of plans. They made better time on the first leg of the trip than they expected, and they're coming to visit. Bad news. <laughs> I took Tynan up on the book jam. He hasn't seen a word of my new book, and fresh eyes are priceless. He bailed me out on Tramer's wing. I hope he understands how much it is. Blast off! Just say it.
Farm. Sorry it's been so long since I've written. Things have been hectic around here, and I'm trying to figure out a way to get things back on track. Here we go! Will it make me smarter? Honey, listen to me. You are smart. Here we go. We barely talked yesterday. Well, wow, you're right. I guess we've just been so busy. Mom and Dad left this morning, and I'll never have to wear that sweater again. It's not just ugly, it's hot and itchy. And the why do you ask? How's it going? It's going good. And as for last weekend, I can't stop wondering what kind of advice Tynan would have had for Act 2. It's still a mess. I tried to... I'm sorry. sorry. I shouldn't have snapped. Whoa. I just, I just, I just, I just, I just. Daddy. Hey, bud. It'll be fun. Figure something out. Dan and I had a good conversation today. Well, we'll have to wait and see if it was actually good, but I feel like I got my point across about family.
Alan, this letter might come from out of the blue, but do you remember when you told me about Bobby falling behind on reading? It looks like we're there with Tommy.
I called the co-op today. It isn't wildly expensive, but it sure doesn't fit into the budget. It was a bigger letdown than I thought. Not being able to just leave me. Is there something out there? The entire world's out there. The seven o'clock idea was dead before it even got started. Dan was pretty adamant that he just can't make the time with his writing schedule, and if we pushed it any later, Tom would just have to go. Oh, yeah. What about your rocket? I already played with it. <laughs> and when I finish my book in December, I... Don't joke like that. The new schedule isn't as bad as it could have been. At least I'm getting two blocks of quiet time every day, though of course they're not as long as I wish they could be. And the sound of those doors closing is like... What's up, little guy?
Right down there. Cool, can we go? Has it been five years already? I still remember the thought that blindsided me when I saw Tommy for the first time. He is my new clue. Oh, I can't say that. Hey, what's wrong? <sighs> the ad ran today. Picked up the latest issue in town. I don't know if it'll amount to anything sales-wise, but that's not the point. I'd forgotten how scary it was to put your work out there. Hey there. Hey. Just got back from the co-op. Tuesdays are pretty much my favorite day of the week now. Today, Monica showed me some brush techniques for blending my tones more evenly. What is it, Mommy? I don't know yet, honey. It just never stops. Every time I plot something I think will hold together, it falls to pieces. This thing was supposed to be done months ago, but the trouble I get... Hi, Mom. Hey, Pumpkin. Paul. Hey, man, if I'd known my letter would set you off like that, I wouldn't have written. My fault. Let's both just calm down. I see now that it was stupid to ask...
I just got off the phone with mom. She told me about Grandma Joe. I know we ex Is she in heaven? I'm sure she is, honey. I walked out to the bluff to remember Grandma Joe and say goodbye. And on the way back, I started thinking about what it really means. Maybe... We just got back from the show, and I still don't know how I feel about it. The turnout was okay, and I did sell a piece. I learned a long time ago to never complain. <laughs> Good. All right. Most of you here knew my grandmother. For those who didn't, I truly wish you had. She was an example for all of us. Oh no. Joe's funeral's the same day as the signing in Eugene, and Paul says they can't move it. He'll understand if I bail because he knows Linda, but...
Just be here for me. Just be here for me. Lynn, I'm so sorry. Tell me what I can do. Just called Paul. Didn't even get a chance to explain before he started in on me. Reamed me out. Absolutely killed me. No point in writing anymore. Hi, honey. Hey, Mom. I gotta call Paul again.
Anne, what's the latest with you? I hope you're doing better than I am. I'm going a little stir crazy. Dan loves it here, but he's just. I'm faster. Off. Hey, look. Wow. Uh, I'm going out for a hike. Okay, be safe. We just got back from the funeral. It was even harder than I expected, but it was moving to see just how many people loved Grandma Joe. Paul gave it to me today. He was righteously pissed about missing that reading. No, I don't know. I don't think he's pissed at me exactly. He knows why I missed it. How was work? You know, it could always be better. Penny, thanks so much for your letter. It made my day. Penny, thanks so much for your letter. It made my day. Kramer's Way came out a while ago now, so I don't get letters like this too often. Writing can be a pretty isolating profession. Daddy! My man! I've got to stay on the book. This is my chance to do something people remember. Something that matters. If this one isn't good enough, there might not even be a next one. Hey, sweetie. Hi.
Barb, I know I wrote yesterday, but I just... I need your advice. I think Dan's drinking too much. Why don't you stop it, too? I'm fine. I'm fine. So much for a choco. I wish I hadn't done so much research to find sites and trails, because now I keep catching myself daydreaming about them instead of working. I'm faster! If he doesn't do it, I'll help you, honey. But he promised. Hey, Tommy, having fun? Yeah. Can't beat me. Maybe I should just pour it out. Just got back from the trip. Or trips, I should say. Once I got it in my head, then a night on the... Oh. 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 Hey, Tommy, having fun? Yep. Alan, hey man, this is gonna sound odd, but I could use some advice. I'm in hot water here because, well, I've been drinking.
Barb, by the time you get this, we'll be on our way home. So don't write me back here. It's hard to believe the summer's almost over. You'd make new ones, buddy. What about my friends? You'd make new ones, buddy. I finally got through to Dan, at least a little. He said I was nagging him, so I showed him the pamphlets Dr. Walker gave me. He couldn't explain away science, but he did try. I could even go full time if... I could even go full time if... You can say it. If I got a real job. How long is the drive? Two hours. We'd have to move. I haven't had a drink on a weeknight in two weeks. Came up with a new slogan. Write sober. Rewrite sober. Rewrite sober. Hemingway it's not, but it's good to see. Paul, there were days when I thought this moment would never come. When I finish writing this, I'm going to pack everything up and drop the manuscript in the mail. My palms are sweating just to get Hi, Mom. Hey, pumpkin. Thank you.
我也是这样想的。